Hi Pisces. Well, I'm here for Christmas and um, this is a little bit different. I have like a whole story coming through. There's many, many cards um, in front of me here. And I just want to take this opportunity to not forget this time to truly from the bottom, bottom of my heart uh, thank you guys for being here and for your continuous support and donations and thoughtful words and your messages, comments, everything, um, your subscriptions, your likes. It's been a very interesting year, 2022, and definitely has been a purge emotionally. You know, 222, 2022 has to do with number six, with, which is harmony, which is home, which is family, which is kind of perhaps what we're feeling or not feeling at this time of the year when, you know, we have all the Christmas family gathering when there is or not. You know, this can be a time of year that is challenging for some, that can be very sad, depressive and at the same time can be very warm. Now the question for this whole year culminating right now is have you found your home? You know, have you found it? And you perhaps have found that it is not external, it is not about a person, it is not about the love that is around you, but more so <clears throat> it is about what well, you have found inside yourself. Have you found that flame, that warmth within you, which is always here, whatever happens, whoever is around? Have you found this ground, this light? Because with all the grieving, with all the stuff that has happened this year, with this new moon that we just went through in Capricorn, heading towards this full moon in Cancer on the 6th of January. It's really calling to this sense of connectedness, of family, of love, of true compassion. Have you shifted? Have you chosen your path? Because here we are at a point, very crucial astrologically, where we have to choose between living in fear or in love. Meaning that, yes, the thoughts can be overburdening, but the emotions are heavier, you know, they're denser, they're more difficult to go through, to shift, to transform. And so sometimes we can really drown into those. But there's a point here, now, the now, now, where you can choose whatever I'm feeling, whatever is going on, to not partake in it. You can feel it, but not believe it. And you can know. Perhaps you have felt more and more so this presence within you that is divine. And this is what will be guiding you in 2023. Because I'm seeing here so much luck, so much abundance, love as well. But it all depends on if you're living your truth, if you're living true to yourself. We're not asked now to go into extremes, to make choices rapidly. It's more internal here. We still have Mars in retrograde, right? And so it's still asking us to slow down, to observe, to get into calmness within the storm, emotional storm, but also external storm. And so here, what I found is those two cards, betrayal and compassion, very, very, very different cards. If you can see, there's one that is full of rage, anger, fear, and, you know, darkness. And the other one that is compassion, that is calm, that is full of love, serene love, divine love, and that has surrendered. There's one in the drama, and there's the one in, in love, true love. 
And so this, to me, is the summary of all the cards that are coming through, the story that is coming through right now. Are you going to be living through fear and doubt? Because this is being very triggered right now. Our ego is being triggered, but for a reason. It's being triggered so that we can go beyond it, surrender to beyond ourselves, to stop being our own blockage, to stop not believing. Here we ask you to have the faith. The faith that whatever happens is for a best interest, that perhaps we have no clue how things are going to pan out in 2023, how, thing, how are we going to make money, how are those things are going to shift, how is this love situation going to ground, going to stabilize, how am I going to feel home finally, externally as well. But again, here the lesson is that we create everything from the inside. If you read, radiate this trust, this love, this happiness within you, if you're always in here, whatever is going on, whatever thought, destructive thoughts or emotions are coming through, you will get through this. We're almost there. <laughs> the shift is going to be very obvious in 2023. In January, especially at the end of January and March, we're going to see the results of that. March, April, we're going to see very big shifts into the realization of our projects, partnerships, etc. But we need to here change something internally once and for all. It's the time. There is no other way. You can't continue the way you've been doing things or the, the way you've been being. And so it's calling to change, right? This lightning is really pressuring us. The universe is pressuring us to go beyond what we have been. And so here, this crossroad is this choice. Again, Mars is in retrograde in Gemini, which is the twin energy, which is the choice card as well. And so crossroads, that means that you are the co-creator of your life for the divine. So you can manifest really, truly what you, your dream. So if you feel inside yourself the, the ideal partnership, how you want to live your life, how you want to feel in the future and from now, because it starts now, this is what will happen. But if you linger into the negativity, into the, um, you know, for each, each and every one of you is different, but all the stuff that has been feel, making, you, making you feel heavy, um, that has been making you feel bad, basically. If you're not feeling good within yourself, there's something that needs to be shifted. And that's being aware, that's being conscious every single moment of your day. How is my inner garden? So this is embracing the shadow. There's no other choice. We need to embrace the shadow. And that's why the challenges are coming through. You see like a sort of, you know, sphinx here. This is a transformation that is taking place. But for that to occur, we need to embrace the shadow. Embracing the shadow is loving upon the shadow. It's loving upon all those toxic behaviors. It's relaxing into it. It's feeling it, but no longer believing in it. So that's the shift. And so here, we also had the card of love that came through and boundaries. So perhaps the challenge that is coming through here in love relationships has to do with how are you putting the right boundaries? How are you being yourself, being true to yourself and believing, not having the fear, not having the doubt, but being your best self in, within the relationship, no longer being so focused on the other. But the boundary is no longer so much about the other. It's about how you put the boundary within you, meaning that you're not, your, your attention is not on the other. It's not on your loved one. It's within you. That's where you cut it. That's perhaps where you have an insight that changes everything. Because remember, we are a mirror for each other. So if what you're feeling within you is love, is, is you know, long-lasting relationship, is vulnerability in the, the best way. 
is a commitment, is deepness. This is what will be um, mirrored to you by the other person. This is all vibration. We work with vibration, with energies. So it's not about if you're feeling, you know, um, insecurities, doubts, all of this has to be dealt within you. And you need to focus on something higher than you. As you do so, you, your frequency elevates, your vibration internally elevates. And that puts you in a place where there is a constant happiness. There's, and it's not false. It's a truth. It's a vibration, a love vibration that you feel, a sort of freedom internally. And yes, you can go through emotions, you know, through many, many things, but there's always this presence that doesn't leave you. And so you recover quickly. You don't believe things. You are no longer focused on the drama. You are this card of compassion that we saw in the beginning. You're not in the drama of the betrayal, of seeing how oh, this is going to happen. You know, all the, the PTSD, you know, that can come from, um, you know, abandonment issues, uh, childhood traumas, or other relationships that ended bad. What if this ended good? What if it would be for very long term? What if the change is within you and is not walking away from this relationship? is recognizing money to shift within you and perhaps you can see miracles happen within this other person and the relationship. So here, obviously we got clean up your mess with invest in your spirit. That's everything we've talked about right now. Cleaning up the internal mess, mental, emotional, and the identification we put upon all of that. And what helps us is to invest ourselves in our spirit. It's to every day, every moment, build upon that practice. In this way, you're filling your well, your own well. That's the boundaries we talked about. The intention, the focus is not on the other person, it's on you. So you change the game in this way. It's energetic. Now, also, you could be feeling very pressure to do many, many things, and it's not the moment right now. It's not an emergency. You're supposed to prioritize your sense of calm, your sense of centeredness, of groundedness. And in this way, connect with your soul family, with the right videos, with the right books, with the right music, to elevate you, to connect truly with your truth and rise and shine you're asked to step up here take the lead i saw this card yeah stack spirit take the lead you're not the victim of your life you're healing yeah perhaps but you have to take the lead in whatever situation you are in you have to get out there you have to get uncomfortable and you can do so only if you are surrendered to the divine because the divine opens the doors. But if you stay in a rigidity and we will see this card later because I saw it. If you stay in a rigid way of being, which is a lower state of Capricorn, you don't move. You're just stuck there, right? This is control. This, ah, no, we have to allow like the water flow. We have the water here. And that's what the divine uh, teaches us. You have here the teaching of the divine, the wisdom of the divine. Only if you devote yourself to the spiritual right now, which is a big word for just beyond you, beyond your ego. If you're in devotion, and that's a hard devotion, it's an internal devotion. It's a focus, a concentration. This is how you will build your future, right? So again, calling up to this card that we saw before, we have a lot of confirmations from different decks here. Clear, clear out the, the cutter. So clear out the cutter means that clean up your mess. <clears throat> it's plain and simple. It's everything that has been 
too much in your life that has been blocking you, that has been um, not making space for the new. Your thoughts, your emotions, could be your physical space as well. Cleaning it up, you know, for the end of the year. Getting fresh, fresh ideas, creative ideas. Luck is on your side. But again, like we said before, it's not the time to act so much. You have watch and wait here, the seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. That means that we don't want to take impulsive actions upon perhaps things that are a little bit confusing right now. We did have Neptune very present, so there's this illusory kind of um, state where we don't see things so clearly. But this is going to clear up as we get into the new year. Um, but right now, just know that there are infinite possibilities. You have open to infinite possibilities, the starfish. If only you live in faith, if you believe that now is a lucky time, know your worth. You have to shift into the love, not the fear. It's so crucial right now because you can, you know, get into <clears throat> a certain sense of paranoia, of a, a sense of separatedness. Um, we are being tested. This end of the year is a test. It's been, we're tired. It's been a roller coaster, I know. But just knowing that this is going to ease out and that this is a crucial time for you to finally anchor into the new you, meaning behaviors, things that you used to do, you're not doing them anymore. It doesn't exist, right? We, we talked about the clean slate before. This is very crucial, especially emotionally for us Pisces. So if there's a grieving happening here, it's that. We have the butterfly that has to do with transformation. You grieve. The grieving process is feeling all this sadness, all this, 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 um, this aspiration, all this um, depression, sometimes a sense of solitude, separatedness. But know that this is illusory. It's not the reality. Where is the truth? Seek the truth. And the truth feels good. It feels good. Lighten your load. If there's too much, you need to lighten it up. Too much in your head, too much in your emotions. Get to something much more serene, clear within you. Let your mind drop into your heart. And the heart is not the emotions. It's the compassion that we saw before. Step into that lightness. And this will push you towards your life purpose. Okay. So now you could have very vivid dreams right now. It's personally happening to me uh, very much so. But we have dream travel coming through and answers. So you could have answers come through through dreams, but also just know that through your practice and through your patience, answers will come. Just trust the process. We are asked to be patient and trust the process right now. And there's a lot of energy about forgiveness too. Forgiving yourself, forgiving another. Maybe that's how you heal a relationship as well right now. But we need to get out of the illusion and get into this truth again. Truth. Okay? Now, spirits are here to guide you. Know that you're being guided, that you're not alone. Weight of truth. We have tears here. The weight of truth. The, those could be realizations that are very important. You have the sword here. The sword, ace of sword energy. By the way, number seven. 777 or 77 or 33 is important today. But the sword is putting, that's the boundary setting as well, is being your truth, speaking your truth. And even if it's hard to say, even if, it hard, if it's hard to change yourself, you know, if perhaps it's been easier for you to not be your truth, just to please, you know, to be comfortable. 
Perhaps it's hard, yeah, there are tears that come through. Perhaps you need to be vulnerable, you need to be able to cry. You need to be able to purify yourself in this way. Sudden realization can happen, you can see things clearly. And mostly, I would say here, it's about our own self. It's not so much about another person or going away or you know, all that stuff. It could be, but here it's more internal. Um, we see as well, you could be seeing a feather, a leaf, but we have someone soon. So if someone is here um, alone, is in a relationship, we have someone soon that is coming here or someone that could be coming into your life and give you <clears throat> serenity. So you're asked to calm, to get into a calmness, even though perhaps you feel anxiety right now, there is this also anxiety, this sense of, Ugh. <laughs> but just know that again, this is not the truth. It's not the reality of what is happening. Perhaps it's just a drama that is overplaying, you know, um, repeating in your mind and your emotions and your life. But you have to go beyond that here. So there's a rest deeply that is also recommended. Perhaps it's hard for you to rest well and you're asked to prioritize that right now. To invite peace, Pisces. Now, we're asked to set our intentions. You know, if the spirits are here to guide us, we need to set our intentions. They will come if we are open to the connection with them. If we're not, then we won't hear we won't be ready to hear the answers. But those spirits, the divine, will give you the insights needed towards your intentions. Someone here will be coming soon. Or a sign will be coming soon that will give you serenity, that will give you a sense of deep rest. Now, this weight of truth can have to do also with your fortune. This is a story that is coming through here, where your financial um, strength is perhaps not in what you were doing, you, the work you were doing. Perhaps you were supposed to um, prioritize. You have here established priorities. What is most important to you? Perhaps you need to shift, be flexible. Perhaps this means that you need to move to do things that perhaps you didn't want to do, you know, prioritize. What is it in your life that needs to shift, change, <clears throat> so that you can get closer to your truth? <clears throat> now, this rainbow bridge, you know, where there's this separateness, to get in onto the other side, like we discussed before, this crossroads, this choice that we need to make, there's a rainbow here. There's a bridge, but you need to be available to it, to that change, to get on the other side. If not, you will stay stuck, and it's okay. But if you want to get onto this new timeline, this new karma, you need to be in the positive energy. And that's what we talked about. Live from love, not fear. And it sounds very... Um, abstract, but it's not. It's truly living from... The sense of trust, calm, happiness, love within, which will transcribe into those new opportunities, into this love relationship, or the strengthening of the, the one that you have right now. But you need to follow the guidance. You have guidance as golden here. That means that <clears throat> when we say guidance is golden, it means that you are, again, open to the guidance. If you're closed off in your uh, hell, you can't. You can't jump. You can't get out there, right? So we need to get out of this rigidity and get into cosmic exploration. That's opening, expansion of consciousness, opening our mind, getting into a higher state. And that means as well to befriend, befriend pleasure. Pleasure, what makes you feel good, what you love. No longer follow your mind so much, but more of your heart. What makes you feel good, Pisces? Your home. Going back to the beginning of this reading. Your home. 
Now the sword came with love, truth, insights about love, and release and let go. So that doesn't mean per se that there, there has to be a separation or letting go of a student relationship. But here, more of an internal letting go, perhaps of attachment, perhaps of ways of being in a relationship, shifting that, communicating. What can sh change or shift within you? And here we have broken and hatched. So all this year, all this being broken apart was for us to be hatched. And it's time for the hatching right now. But you have to choose it. You have to jump. If you don't, if you're scared, if you remain in the comfort of the darkness in which you've been, because we get attached to that as well, you won't move forward. So now we are asked to, with all the lessons we've learned, to ground into this new us. And this new us is embracing our magnificence. Embracing our magnificence. The peacock is coming twice here. It's not egoic. It's letting go of that doubt, letting go of that fear, letting go of those mind patterns that ugh, come over and over again and say, oh, you can't do that, or oh, I'm bored, or oh, I, I'm stuck, or oh, you know, just oh, judging yourself at every word you write or say, or, you know, again, uh, seeing everything in a, in a dark side when it comes to a relationship. Oh, it won't last. Oh, I will be betrayed. You know, all that stuff. Where do you choose to live, Pisces? What is the world you want to create? You will know what you will create and manifest next year by feeling what is inside you and consciously shifting that, anchoring in that. Now we got suppression of, suppression of a star being by hands unworthy. Some people here are definitely light workers, star beings, and very sensitive and have been suppressed by being with around the wrong people. Or as well, perhaps you're not with those people, but you are letting their energy still be within you. That could be traumas from the past, from the parents, from whatever traumatic experience you've had, and you still have that within you. So it's still uh, ingrained in your mindset, in your lack of faith, the doubt, all of those things. Perhaps now you are your worst enemy. But we need to get into integrity here. We need to get into who we are and the, the beauty of who we are. But we need to believe in it. That's, again, the faith. If you, right now you're not loving yourself, you're feeling very insecure, all of that. If you're feeling in a very low place, dark night of the soul perhaps as well, you just need to know that this is not the reality. It's an illusion. It's not your truth because your truth feels good. It doesn't feel bad. Again, when you feel bad, know that this is not the divine truth because the divine is only love. Okay? And so, only when you get into your integrity, into who you truly are, which has nothing to do with your emotions or your thoughts, you move forward. You have to move forward. The past is gone. Now it's the new. It's the new, completely new. Broken and hatched. No longer broken. You're hatched right now. There's no break. There's just being born. And when, you, when you're born, you're pure, you know, in a sense, we can say. There's no experience. There's no, right? Not in this lifetime, perhaps from other lifetimes. But there is this purity, this lack of ego, this, this looking at the world with new eyes, with no judgment. Okay? There's just looking forward to the next. But that's, again, a shift that needs to happen. And then, so you get into your light. And this light, you need to share. Dialogue. Right? You need to share this. Share it, but this light you will find in retreat. So it's this balance where you have the space 
to just be here within you, with yourself, beyond yourself, where you allow this light to shine brighter and brighter and brighter so that you can then share it with the world or with your partner. And that's where once you're strong in that light, you risk and dare. That's for this next year. You risk and dare. Now also, it's for right now, the shift that needs to happen where we take that leap forward. We jump. We risk to do things differently and we dare to do things differently. We dare to smile when we are feeling sad. We dare to not believe in those heavy emotions, but rather into the light of the divine love. Perhaps this spark is very little right now, but if you put your intention solely on that, if you focus solely on that, it will grow. Wherever you put your intention, this is what will grow. So put your intention into love. This is what will grow. This is what you will manifest. Put your intention onto happiness. This is what will grow and manifest. Let go of all the rest. The rest doesn't exist. Only focus on that. Okay, Pisces. So I love you. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. And I will see you very soon. Enjoy the festivities. If there's no festivities as well, the festivity really happens internally. Take care of yourself. Do things that you love, that makes you feel good. Your body, pleasure. Could be watching a movie. Why not? <laughs> you know, celebrate life. Christmas is really, talks about Christ consciousness, about this higher sense of love that is always present, that we're never alone. Even if we don't have a family, we don't have, we're not feeling it, right? This material festivity. We get into the heart of this festivity, which is love, which is the heart of Jesus without being religious. It's faith. Faith in the beauty of life, okay? So create that for yourself. Be that for yourself not easy you have to be it practice it work on it right love you Pisces see you very soon take care bye bye